Thank you for joining us tonight. So what will school look like this fall? That is a big question for so many. Our Zach Fuller joins us with the latest decisions in the works for Rochester Public Schools. What do we know so far, Zach? Tom and Caitlin, Rochester Public Schools held its meeting tonight where it discussed what a 163 person task force will be looking at when considering what to do if schools will reopen in the fall. Rochester Public Schools have three options for returning in the fall, in-person learning, distance learning, or a hybrid of the two. We were also told by MDE that we have to be uh, flexible because uh, things may change throughout the school year and may have to jump from one model into another model, either as a system or even as a second bullet, even as a school building. Meaning different buildings could be on different systems, but these are precautions the task force is taking into consideration by looking at 12 key areas. You know, students missed anywhere from eight to 12 weeks of in-person instruction. So obviously, uh, even though we're really proud of the work that our teachers did during distance learning, but we know distance learning is not as good as in-person learning. Plus safety and wellness. This is looking at every aspect of the facilities, looking at buildings and transportation vehicles, the hygiene, the air quality, uh, how we clean sites once students are gone. So they're really focusing on, on that particular area. For those families who don't feel safe sending their kids back, there are alternatives. Distance learning will be an option depending on what whatever model we're using. The school board understands there are still many unanswered questions. I guess I just wanna say that we understand the frustration, the desperation that people are feeling, and I wish there was an easy fix, but there just isn't. Uh, we'll learn more as we go along. We'll get more guidance from our government agencies, but um, I, just, I just hope people know we hear you and we feel absolutely that the same things you're feeling. The board says they are anticipating to hear Governor Walz's recommendations the week of July 27th. Now what parents can expect next is the three models sent out for parents, staff and partners to respond so the board can make adjustments based on what the public wants. Reporting live in the studio, Zach Fuller, KTTC News.